So we were talking on my last video and, and check it out on bro splits. Good old fashioned bro splits. Lots of volume for one or two muscle groups uh, in the one day in the gym. You don't repeat training those muscle groups again. Big pump in the gym. And as the session goes on, you start to see performance drop off in terms of the amount of work and the intensity that you can continue to train that muscle group. Metabolic waste builds up, fatigue sets in, central nervous system fatigue, and we start to see our performance go downhill. Let's compare that to, say, an upper lower body program. So an upper lower body program, you may be training chest, shoulders, back, even arms, all together in the one session, maybe just doing one exercise of each. Maybe uh, you've segmented it to, say, just shoulders and chest and triceps as an example. But either way, an upper lower body program, we're training multiple muscle groups grouped as either upper body uh, muscle groups or lower body muscle groups. And the thing about this is a lot of people, if they go from a bro split to an upper lower body program, one of the first things they'll say is, I didn't get, I didn't get the pump in the gym. I didn't get the normal pump in the gym. And uh, they, they see that as a hallmark of a bad session. Now, you don't necessarily need to get a pump in the gym for it to be a good training session. You certainly don't necessarily need to see that uh, you have DOMS, delayed onset of muscle soreness the next day, and that doesn't really determine if it's a good or bad session. So some of the hallmarks of an upper lower body program. First up, we're training the same muscle group multiple times across the week. So maybe on a Monday, as an example, you may have an upper body session and maybe it's some um, chest and shoulders. And then later in the week, you've got another upper body session where you're doing some chest and shoulders again. So there is an increase in frequency that you're training muscle groups each week. Now, after you train a particular muscle group, you do see a big spike in muscle protein synthesis for the next 48 hours or so for that particular muscle group. So if you're training chest twice for the week, you see two spikes in muscle protein synthesis. Also, if we're doing, say, four exercises for chest across the week, if we do that in the bro split format, we do the four exercises back to back, we get that pump in the gym, but we do see our performance start to go downhill as the exercises go on. If we're training, say, an upper lower body program, we may do some of the chest workout on, say, the Monday. We might do the remainder of the chest workout on, say, the Thursday. And maybe we're doing two exercises on the Monday for chest, two exercises for um two exercises for the chest on the Monday and two exercises for the chest on the Thursday. So what does that mean? Well, potentially you can lift a greater volume. You can have a greater working load across the whole week because you are splitting that session up into two sessions across the week, that chest workout, sorry, into two sessions across the week. So you do two exercises for chest on the Monday, you wrap it up and then you do the, the remaining two exercises on the Thursday but you've had a good 72 hours in between. So you're able to lift a greater weight on the Thursday for your chest routine than what you could in a bro split where you do see all that metabolic waste build up and you do see that the working volume of the exercises that you're performing starts to go downhill because you're fatigued. So potentially with an upper lower body program, you can lift a greater working volume across the whole week for a particular muscle group, but you may not get a side splitting pump in the gym. Remember, that is only one mechanism of muscle growth. So we're talking about metabolic stress. Probably, or not probably, it is, it is known that the, um, the most important mechanism of muscle growth is going to come down to mechanical tension. And so for mechanical tension, if I'm lifting a greater weight on Monday for my chest routine and on Thursday for my chest routine, compared to a bro split where I do all my volume for the one muscle group in the one day, I am potentially then generating more mechanical tension across the week, and I'm possibly able to improve my strength using an upper lower body program more than what I can with a bro split, and maybe I see some better results. Look, in, in my opinion, I don't think that there is one better routine than the other. I really recommend that you change it up, and it could be, could be every six weeks, it could be every 12 weeks. You change up your routine, moving from a bro split to say, an upper lower program, maybe a push pull leg program, block periodized programs. We'll talk about that in a, another uh, video that I do, but one where we actually have a progression model built in where we're actually changing the amount of repetitions per set, the rest period per set, and the repetition in reserve target for each set. But for now, we're sticking to the upper lower body program and we're saying 
Upper lower body offers some unique benefits, including increased frequency training particular body parts across the week. And you might find that you can lift a greater volume or a greater working load across the week because you're splitting your routine up across the week and you're not doing as much volume in the one session. So there you go, upper lower body programs, they offer some benefits over a bro split. You might get the same pump in the gym, but it is, is not a bad way to train at all. And I've trained many, many programs over the years with the upper lower body program. All right, if you do like this content, please like and subscribe. It will help my channel grow. And I'll talk to you all soon.